What is up guys, today we'll be installing Sprint Touches Jelly Bean 4.1.1 leak on your Sprint Galaxy S3. So go and go, go to the link in the description, it'll bring you to this page, go and scroll down, you can see here some pictures of what it's going to look like, and basically it's just TouchWiz with some, uh, some Jelly Bean awesomeness. So yeah, let's go ahead and download this. So go ahead and go to the download here section. As you can see, it's right below the pictures. You'll see D Odex and Odex, and then we'll see LIH firmware. Go ahead and click on LIH firmware, and it's going to bring you to this page. Go ahead and wait for that to download. It takes 10 seconds, and then we'll start the download. And if you're on Chrome, it'll show right down here. I don't know about Firefox or Internet Explorer. I don't use those internet browsers. But yeah, once that's done, you can go and exit out of this. And then go ahead and click on the D Odex one. Now, if you want the Odex one, that's fine. I just recommend getting the D Odex because then that allows you to flash themes in the future. So then go ahead and once that's finished, go ahead and exit out of that. And you should have your two downloads wherever they are. Go ahead and go to your desktop. I'm just going to try and make it easy for you guys. You guys can do whatever you'd like. But I'm just going to go ahead and make a new folder here. And I'm going to call that my touch with jelly bean folder. Then once you've made that folder, you can really name it whatever you want. Go ahead and drag both of those files into that folder. So as you can see, I'm just dragging and dropping these dot zips right into that folder. And as you can see, we have both of those things in our folder. Now go ahead and take your USB cable and connect your Sprint Galaxy S3 to your computer. And trying to find the right cable here. I have a bunch of cables around my computer. Here we go. Go ahead and connect it just like that. And it should show right down here by your computer section. You can see SPHL710. Go ahead and go to the internal storage of the device. Go ahead and take this folder and then just drag and drop right over here. Copy to root of storage. And then that's going to load. And then once that's done, I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, so once that file finishes transferring, you should have the TouchWiz Jelly Bean folder right here at the bottom of your SPHL710 internal storage folder. So this is pretty much all the files that you will need. As you can see, we got the ROM and the modem. And yeah, that's pretty much all we're going to need to flash in our recovery. So I'll meet you guys on our phone. Alright guys, so go ahead and power off your device now. And then once your phone is powered off, what you're going to want to do is hold up on the volume marker home button and the power button all at the same time. So your phone should vibrate and then your screen should unilluminate and then you'll know that it is off. So go ahead and hold up on the volume rocker, home button and power all at the same time. And then once your phone pops up at the Samsung screen, go ahead and release really fast. And then that's going to boot up in your custom recovery. Now in our custom recovery, we're going to go ahead and install those two files that we put on our phone. So let me go ahead and zoom in on here so that you guys can see it perfectly. And now what you're simply going to want to do is scroll down to wipe data factory reset. Now what I highly recommend doing before you wipe your data is to make a backup. So go ahead and scroll down to backup and restore and click power on backup. Just make sure that you have an external SD card because that's where it's going to output it to. I'm not sure if you can make backups on an internal SD card, but I have in the past and it hasn't worked. So go ahead and make a backup just to make sure in case this actually ends up breaking your phone or something. That's highly uh, unlikely though with this process. So go ahead and go back and continue with the wipe data factory reset. So go ahead and delete all your user data. And remember, this is just going to delete your system. It's not going to delete anything that you had before, like pictures or videos or anything. It's really just going to delete your apps and your system. And then scroll down to wipe data, wipe cache partition, sorry. Go ahead and wipe your cache. And once your cache is wiped, scroll down to advanced and then wipe Dalvik cache. And once you're done wiping all those three things, go ahead and click go back. Go to install zip from SD card. Go to choose zip from SD card. And then go ahead and find that folder where you had pretty much all those files. So mine was called Touch with Jelly Bean folder. Go ahead and click power on that. And then go ahead and install LIH update full dodex.zip. Go ahead and install that update. And then you can see here that it's going to install it. You can see all the stuff that it's pretty much saying. And that is going to take a little bit. So don't get scared if it's freezed at a certain part of text. It doesn't really matter. It's going to take a little bit before it actually installs the actual ROM itself. So go ahead and wait a few minutes and I'll be back with you guys. Alright guys, so as you can see, install from SD card is complete. 
Now go to install zip from SD card again, go to that same folder, touch was Jelly Bean folder, or pretty much whatever you named it, and then install the top file, which is called the Galaxy S3 L1H1 firmware modem.zip. Go ahead and install that, and that's pretty much going to give you that new modem, that better software with the modem, so you might have better connectivity or speeds. It really depends on your area, I would say, but yeah, that's probably the main point of a modem. It's probably just going to update a little bit and make it a little connectivier or whatever, just, I guess, just make it connect better. So yeah, you're pretty much all done with installing stuff. Go ahead and reboot system now. And then once you reboot your system, that's pretty much going to reboot into the touch was Jelly Bean wrong. So let's go ahead and focus this so that we can see the boot up animation. And here we go. No boot up animation? Oh, there we go. So it's pretty much the international Samsung boot up animation so that it's pretty sweet. You just get your normal Samsung. And then you also get your sprint intro too as well. Although I'm not a big fan of that because that can actually slow up your boot up animation process. And then you get this glowing Samsung uh, logo right there while you're booting up. And yeah, it's usually going to take a little bit on the first boot up, so don't be scared if it doesn't boot up. As I said with installing the ROM, usually first installation stuff does take a little bit. But don't worry, this will eventually become a faster boot up animation after the very first boot up. But remember, if you do remove your battery, that is pretty much going to reset the boot up animation, so then it's going to be long again. Alright guys, so here it is, Touch was Jelly Bean on the Sprint Galaxy S3. We are pretty much done installing, go ahead and set it up, and then it'll be good to go. Now, I'll have a full review on this up on my channel, I'll include a link in the description once I do post that video. But anyways guys, all I want to do is thank you for watching this video. It really helps me a lot for watching these videos, that's pretty much the whole entire reason why I uh, upload these videos is to help you guys. So yeah guys, thanks for watching this video, and I'll talk to you later.